Hearing you or someone you love has chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL, can be overwhelming. It's normal to feel this way, and you're likely to have many questions and concerns. What is CLL? Why did I get it? How do you treat it? How will I get through this? Chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL, is the most common type of leukemia in adults. It typically affects older adults, though it can occur at any age, and is more common in males than females. CLL is a type of blood cancer that starts in the bone marrow. Bone marrow is the soft inner part of the bone, where stem cells and three main types of blood cells are formed. White blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. With CLL, a type of white blood cell called B lymphocytes undergo changes in the DNA or genetic code. These cells multiply quickly, upsetting the growth and normal function of healthy cells. Over time, they can spread to other tissues and organs. CLL is divided into stages, based mainly on the number of lymphocytes in your blood and bone marrow as well as the number of lymph nodes and other organs affected. We don't know the exact cause of CLL. You can't catch it from somebody else, spread it, or prevent it. You might have a higher chance of developing CLL from an inherited genetic change if a close family member has CLL. But the risk is small, and most people with CLL do not have a family history of it. Not everyone diagnosed with CLL needs treatment right away. If your CLL is slow growing and you have no symptoms, your doctor may recommend a period known as active surveillance or watch and wait. Active surveillance is a period of no direct treatment, but it does not mean doing nothing. Instead, it means watching your disease closely and delaying treatment until it is needed. During active surveillance, you'll have regular physical exams and blood tests to monitor your blood cell counts. This will help your doctor to detect any changes in your CLL. Your doctor may recommend starting treatment if there are changes to your blood cell counts, your lymph nodes, or spleen, or other symptoms appear. CLL symptoms can be similar to other less serious illnesses and may include tiredness or low energy, shortness of breath during regular activities, fever, sweating at night, bruising easily, unexplained weight loss, swollen lymph nodes and spleen, some people may wait months or years before beginning treatment. However, if your CLL is fast growing or you have symptoms, your doctor may recommend starting treatment sooner. Developments in our understanding of the genetics of CLL have led to new targeted therapies. Targeted therapies work by attacking cancer cells directly without damaging normal cells. The type and amount of treatment needed depends on a number of factors, including your stage of CLL, the genetic makeup of the leukemia, and your overall health. Research advances have revolutionized CLL treatment, and new clinical trials continue to offer hope. Speak to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada if you'd like to learn more. It's important to know that you'll be better able to manage your CLL and have a better quality of life by reaching out, communicating with your healthcare team, and surrounding yourself with a support network. You're not alone. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada is here to help you understand CLL and manage the road that lies ahead.